Hi, I'm Tony Heiser with KB America. Today I'm going to do an inertia learn on the MCE eye control. To start out, what we'll need to do is put uh, balanced weight in the car. We'll need to confirm uh, that the car is balanced by looking at the motor torque in both the up and down direction on inspection speed. So we'll start by going to parameter RU12 to display the torque. And we'll give the inspection up command, monitor the torque. And we see that the value is approximately 200 newton meters to 300 newton meters. And then we'll check it in the next direction. So check it in the inspection down. And again, we see the torque is around uh, 200 newton meters. So we verified that the car is approximately balanced. Before doing the inertia learn on the drive, we need to set up the speed following error in the controller. To do this, we'll go to the drive parameters, and under speed reference, we'll change the following error from 25 to 75, and then send that value to the controller. Next, what we'll do is we'll go to parameter LF3 to initiate the inertia learn. So we'll set that to I learn, press enter, it'll display start. From there, what we'll do is we'll give uh, high speed runs in both the up and down direction. So now we're going to give the car an uh, up run for a high speed up run. And we're going to monitor the acceleration torque, which is about uh, 1300 newton meters. And also look at the constant torque at high speed, which is around roughly two to 300 newton meters. Next, we're gonna run the elevator down in the down direction at high speed. And again, we're gonna look at the acceleration torque, which appears to be about 1300 newton meters again. And the torque at high speed which is again between about 200 and 300 newton meters. With a balanced car, what we should see is that the acceleration and high speed torque are going to be the, approximately the same in the up and down directions. For the inertia learn value, what we want to enter is the difference between the acceleration torque and the high speed torque. So in this case, the acceleration torque was about 1300 newton meters and the high speed torque was about 300 newton meters. So we, what we want to do is enter in the difference of 1000 newton meters. So what we do is we press enter to complete the process. that will display value. And it brings us to parameter LD29. And that is where you put in the acceleration torque for the difference between the acceleration and the high speed torque, which we determined to be a thousand meters. Now press enter to save. Once the LD29 value has been entered, the LD30 will have the inertia value calculated, and the LD31 value for the feed forward torque control filter will be preset, and the LD32 value for the feed forward torque control gain will be preset. From there, go to parameter LF3. And set that to run. And from there, you should be able to run the car back on uh, normal operation.